Dynamics 365 for operations running on Microsoft Azure as Software as a Service provides code deployment capabilities on sandbox environments. The capabilities are enabled via Lifecycle Services, also known as LCS. In this video, we will look at the process for deploying code to a sandbox environment. When the code package, also known as a deployable package, is ready and available, you must upload the deployable package to your LCS project's asset library. You must use software deployable package as the asset type in the asset library. This deployable package can contain application hotfixes or platform hotfixes, or it can just be your customizations. Once uploaded, go to the environment details from the project homepage. Now click on Maintain and select Apply Updates. You are presented with the list of deployable packages from the project's asset library. Select the package that must be deployed. Click Apply. LCS now queues the package deployment request and you are brought back to the Environment Details page. Until the package deployment begins, the status will be Not Started. Once the package deployment starts execution, the status changes to In Progress. This page will show the current step that is being executed. If any step fails, such steps will also be shown on this page. In the event a package deployment fails, you can download the log and the runbook for investigation purposes. If the error is such that you can fix and resume the deployment, LCS provides the Resume option as well. Once the package is deployed, you must validate the deployment by executing your set of test cases in the environment. If you are satisfied with the test results, you can choose to sign off on the package deployment. On the other hand, if you are not satisfied with the test results, you can choose to close with issues. If this package needs to be deployed to the production environment, now is a good time to mark this package as a release candidate in the asset library. Only a release candidate can be deployed to production. From the Environments page, you can view the history of all deployments on the environment. Taking one of the two actions, which was signing off or closing with issues, completes the deployment request. Completing a request is important because another package deployment cannot be performed on this environment while one is incomplete. Microsoft will be unable to perform any planned maintenance like applying critical hotfixes to this environment if a package deployment is incomplete. This brings us to the end of this presentation. We hope you have found the information useful. Thank you for watching.